What is up guys, it's your boy Rick, Optimal DPS Kakis here, and today we are going to be comparing and contrasting two absolute powerhouse PvE linear fusion rifles in Destiny 2 Season of the Risen to see which one comes out on top, which is the one you should be using when you're killing raid bosses, farming GMs, and the like. Well, let's get started with the one that everyone knows. Before this season, I think the consensus top dog linear fusion rifle for PvE was absolutely the Reed's Regret, which, funny enough, comes from Trials of Osiris. Now, as for the god roll, when it first came out, you were always looking for triple tap, where rapidly landing three shots will return one to the magazine. So with a base magazine of five, you were getting two rounds added out of thin air, which was absolutely fantastic. And then initially, you could have gone for Vorpal Weapon, which is going to increase the damage against bosses' vehicles uh, by 15%, until it was nerfed on heavy weapons down to 10%. After that, pretty much the best roll was considered to be still triple tap, but then firing line, where the weapon would deal increased precision damage, 20% increased damage, when near two or more allies. So if you're in a raid and all your teammates are nearby, obviously 20%, as long as you're landing precisions, will vastly eclipse the 10% of Vorpal weapon. But just this season, with the addition of Origin perks, the Reed's Regret actually got even better, because the newest versions are now capable of getting still triple tap and firing line, but then you can also get Viced Stinger. Damaging an enemy with this weapon has a small chance to reload the magazine and increase movement speed while aiming down sights, bows, blah blah blah. The important part is that while you're shooting a new Reed's Regret with Viced Stinger on, sometimes you have, you know, one round of the magazine, and you shoot it and it reloads back to full, or you have two rounds and it reloads back to full. So obviously, potentially getting a lucky string of Vice Stinger activations and completely negating the need to reload is going to do wonders for your damage output. However, we actually got another absolutely insane PvE linear fusion rifle added this season, and that is the Cataclysmic from the Vow of the Disciple raid. So, I have what I believe is the god roll, but frankly, there's quite a few potential PvE god rolls on the Cataclysmic. Firstly, I do have fourth times the charm. This makes it so that rapidly landing four hits returns two to the magazine. And there's something special you can do here if you get an extended mag perk, as you can see, and get the magazine to six, fourth times will actually trigger twice. So you shoot one, two, three, four, you have two remaining, but then you get two back, you shoot those four, you get another two back. So a six round magazine can generate four extra rounds out of thin air just by hitting all your precision shots. That's kind of insane. But the next perk is a new one, Focused Fury. Dealing half of the magazine as precision damage grants this weapon bonus damage. The shot count is reset whenever the weapon is reloaded or stowed. So that means with a six round magazine, if you land three precision shots, you get 10 seconds of a 20% damage increase. And guys, the crazy part is that whenever you land those three shots in a row, including shots you get back thanks to fourth times, it reapplies that 10 seconds. So you will literally see in the background gameplay, the buff goes from like 10 seconds, I'm doing 20% more damage, nine, eight, seven, back to 10, nine, eight, seven, oh no, I need to reload, six, five, four, back to 10. Nine, it just keeps reapplying. So you can have Focus Fury up as long as you get those three initial shots to activate it, it will be up for an entire damage phase easily. And if you don't want this for whatever reason, you can also get High Impact Reserves, which is an absolute wombo with fourth times, triggering the final two 26% bonus damage rounds multiple times because of fourth times, or you can even get Clown Cartridge to have an incredible magazine size. I again like Focus Fury because of its uptime, but either of those two other choices would also be fantastic. 
But which one of these weapons is better? Well, to find out, we went to the first encounter of the Last Wish raid against Kali. So here I have a teammate, Shadow, who has an absolutely juiced new Reed's Regret with Triple Tap, Firing Line, and Viced Stinger. He's using the Boss Spec mod and has one Linear Fusion Rifle Reloader mod on his arms. So for me, I have my God Roll Cataclysmic with the Extended Mag Perk fourth times the charm and then focus fury i also have boss spec and i also have one linear fusion rifle loader mod on we don't have any reserves or anything like that then we have a third teammate that's there to trigger firing line for the reed's regret and also shoot a divinity so there's very little chance of us actually missing our precision shots so as you can see right here we set up and started firing Fourth times is doing its work. Again, I can shoot 10 rounds in a row without having to reload, all while Focus Fury is active and doing that juiced extra damage. I'm feeling good about my weapon, and then the damage phase ends, and I've been thoroughly beaten. Shadow, with the Reed's Regret, did 650,000 damage, and I'm sitting back here with 562,000 damage. So, I mean, there you have it, right? The Reed's Regret just blew past the Cataclysm? Well, not exactly. So, upon talking to my teammate, he actually said, Dude, I got super lucky with the Vice Stinger perk. He's like, I didn't have to reload the entire time for that damage phase. So, we decided to test things again, just to see if he would get as lucky as he just got again. This time... Even with me getting a random body shot because the divinity bubble went away uh, initially, I was actually able, when the damage phase ended, as you can see, to barely squeak past Shadow and the Reed's regret. So that was an example of Vice Stinger not being active. He said for that one, it only triggered like once and it didn't really make a difference. So we can actually see a big difference between getting lucky with Vice Stinger and then kind of having an average Vice Stinger run. And with the average run, I was able to come out on top, but barely. So we actually did one more test. This time, I actually got my teammate with the reeds to switch to a different origin trait, Alacrity, which isn't going to do anything. So this is going to simulate what happens if you get very unlucky, if Vice Stinger just doesn't trigger, which is absolutely going to happen to some people out there. So it's just triple tap and firing line this time. So we did it again, and as you can see from the results, the Cataclysm was clearly now in the lead, doing 600,000, where the Reeds was down, uh, doing 579, around 580,000 damage. So, which one of these weapons is best? Well, I wish there was a straightforward definitive answer, but there is some nuance here. If you're looking for a weapon with the highest upside, the highest ceiling, it actually is going to be the Reed's Regret, specifically with Vice Stinger. If we've proved anything here, it's the fact that Vice Stinger can make a huge difference and you absolutely want a new one with that origin trait that's dropping this season. If you have an old one, I think absolutely Cataclysm comes out on top. But again, the Reeds had the highest ceiling. But that's only really going to matter if you are in an activity that can activate firing line. If you have one with Vorpal Weapon, I think there's no way you out DPS the Cataclysm unless you have like a once in a lifetime string of Vice Stinger activations. So in non-raid activities, even in something like a Grandmaster where you do have two other teammates, if one of them is dead or a little bit far away, then definitely Firing Line can be a bit spotty in its activations. The Cataclysm has a great deal of consistency. And even though you do have to land all those precision shots in order to get fourth times to trigger twice, holy crap, is it easy to consistently trigger focused fury. So I think for me guys, if I'm doing a raid or a three-man activity where we're coming together in a well to DPS like the Grasp of Avarice Dungeon, I'm going to be using the Reed's Regret. 
but if I'm in something like a Grandmaster where someone could easily be dead and you're apart for a lot of it, or if I don't have a pre-made fire team, if I'm playing solo, whatever else, I'm using the Cataclysmic. Frankly, both of these weapons have different strengths and weaknesses, and honestly, if you can, it is worth it to get both of the god rolls. I only hope that we can finally get a good PvE arc linear fusion rifle one of these days. Guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content so much as this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis, that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.